I am back with some more Fallout 4. We're on episode 47 of the Negan playthrough. And yeah, like it's crazy that we're getting to close to 50 now. Um, uh, and as always, like when I got to episode 10 and stuff, it was like weird that we made it to that, let alone this. Um, but yeah, last episode... Um, Oh yeah, we went on a massive run, didn't we? And we killed, managed to kill like five death claws in one video. It's kind of crazy. Well, Dance kind of carried me for a lot of it. He was a pretty, he's, he's a bit powerful, but yeah, it's been good. Um, I don't, I've got no idea what we're gonna do today. Um, uh. I think there was a few things in the random miscellaneous. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's it. The Cobalt family. We'll probably go do that today. Um, open your personal storage container. I don't know what that's about. Check the detective cases. See Albot at the wall. Don't know what they're about. Maybe we'll try them, but uh, maybe go see the Cobalt family. Because I've been on about doing that. It's probably just resolving the quest line we did a few while back. I thought we were meant to go back to his house. The family house. If anything. I know that they said like a week, seven days, so whether we still not got to the seven days yet, like, we might not be able to do it yet, which would be weird, because I feel like we've done a lot since the cobalt thing. But yeah, new rotation. Um, don't know if I'm going to do the whole rotation today, because it's a day off, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, last episode was kind of crazy that we were able to kill five, um, um, kill five, uh, death claws. Point to this location being extremely dangerous. We should proceed with, keep your safety off. Whoever or whatever created this mess might still be around. Yeah, I've got a problem. My cat is on. Is on my TV stand. Like stand it sitting in front of the telly. So I think she's coming to move. Yeah, it's Xbox time. <laughs> so I might be able to chill out. Yeah, okay. Here we go. It's better now. You're a fucking knobhead. Dropping shit. I don't know if this is I thought they wanted me to go back to the family house. Maybe maybe we could go back there as well, but No, oh, stop moaning. <laughs> um But my mate was on about from work. He's thinking about doing um Playing some Sea of Thieves because he's actually got an Xbox now. So I don't know if I'm going to stream it or not, but I'll think about it. It might be something that I might have to kind of leave. Hi, you're back. Good news. I figured out how to access the artifact's telekinesis effect. I've hooked it up to this old laser rifle. There's no way to control it without direct neural input. Better or worse, all of that was destroyed when my father died. But you still have a rather powerful directed force. Here, say what you think. A moment's note. You 
made a neat gun. Thanks. I hope you find some use for it. As for myself, I don't know. Maybe I'll finally travel to the Southwest. My father was always convinced that there was another alien city buried somewhere in the Mojave Desert. Hmm. You're on this dance. Hey. Awaiting your command. But I want to try something. For me today. Um. If I give him this, and then I give him some of the ammo that is needed for that, what's? Gamma rounds. So maybe if I give him some gamma rounds, which wherever that is, so we give him. Don't need to give him a lot. But to be fair, I ain't got any guns that are like that. So we'll give him all of it. But then we'll go into the cheat menu. And just check if I can make it so that followers have unlimited ammo and see if he runs out today. Personal storage, game alterations, companion manipulation, companion cheats, enable infinite ammo. So that should work, maybe. I don't know how good that gun is, like, for combat, but... We'll see. But, um... Maybe we'll go... And try to see what these are about. So we've got personal storage. And what's this one? A bot at the wall. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like a thing I need to activate every time for him to have unlimited ammo. Uh, Well, honestly, the death claws, they're powerful, but they're not hard to fight if you can... Because you can cheese them the same way you kind of fought dragons and Skyrim. Like, if you were near buildings or a built-up area, you can defend it really well. Or defend against them really well. Because they're not the smartest. <gasps> Yeah, we see him stirred his back. <laughs> so officially, officially, um, 
This is a occasion that is definitely shut down now. The Sturges should go back to Red Rocket. But knowing me, I'll probably put him in the wrong Red Rocket or some dumb shit like that. Dumb and ugly had a child. It'd be a super mutant. You didn't realize I had personal storage. I know I had my power armor, but I don't know if I checked my actual. Anything else? Yeah, I just finished off watching Doctor Who for the 60th anniversary specials. The giggle I watched, and it was alright. It was a bit of a. Attention, this is a reminder. All recovered technology must be presented immediately to Proctor Quinlan for evaluation. I'll be honest, Anyone like... found in possession of undocumented technologies will be subject to inquiry and punishment. I'll be honest, the whole 60th anniversary specials were alright, but they were just more or less... Um, they felt more or less... Man, what am I even doing here? Um, but they didn't really feel like a massive celebration of Doctor Who. Just felt like more Doctor Who, if anything. Just fair enough, I suppose. What was that? From Luciana. Can't be bothered. I don't know about Scrod and Ryan. I think she loves her little zoo a bit too much. Heard you gave those muties at Fort Strong something to think about. Personal log entry 142. I can sum up living on the Pridwin in four words. I miss field assignments. Don't get me wrong, the research we're doing is exciting stuff. But life on this ship is a nightmare. I'm trapped in this metal tube 18 hours a day. I still can't decide who smells worse, the soldiers or the mole rats. And what passes for conversation among the grunts makes mutants seem scholarly. I'm gonna speak to Proctor Quinlan. Field scribes cannot have it this bad. Wow. I don't know what I was expecting really, but it's a cleaner shot. It leaves that memorable ozone smell behind. Sneaky. Right, uh I think if anything will 
continue on. Let's see where this wall but uh, the wall thing is. Then I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe for like in the next few episodes, maybe we should consider going to the glowing sea. Maybe. Maybe it is time. Time for the volatile city. So there's a good chance we might have a crash. It is still a lottery with the same. Well, I've realised more guaranteed we're going to crash. Yeah, but... We'll see. Like, if anything... Once we get the... Glowing sea done, if anything, it is the time to... Move on, in a way. Another break. If... Wow. That is something. <laughs> Anything useful? Into their weak spot. I wonder if it knocks them down. Thanks. Wow. Interesting. Some ganders about. But I need some ammo, really. If anything, we could go and spend my money. We could go to the... Um... Diamond City and spend my money and stockpile up on loads of stuff. Health kits and that. Right away. I know I've got a bit stored up at the Red Rocket, so I've got some stuff. That's why I am ready, I think. Like, the power armor probably needs to look over, but... Besides that, I think if anything I would probably take... Dance along. But... Uh, maybe it is time, but it'd be nice for episode 50, I think. Go to the Glow and see. Because it's more mid game vibe. Yeah. And is this inside the city? No. Eh? I was confused. Oh. This is a separate thing. This kind of reminds me of uh, Seven Days to Die. Now that would be a good playthrough. I think I was talking about it before doing um, Saints Row. Like, um, the only access I have to Seven Days to Die is the Xbox One version, which is way before Alpha 17 and all that stuff. I don't know what Alpha they're on now, like, because I kind of usually keep up to date with, like, Neebs Gaming who play it a bit, but, um... Uh, I am, honestly, I used to talk about Neve's game a lot, but I've kind of just moved on from them a little bit. Not not in a way that I don't like them anymore. I love their channel, but I've just been busy focusing on my stuff, really. So I've kind of... I have kind of just walked away from it all, I guess, but... Um, yes? 
I suppose if we are here, I suppose we could stop pile up on stuff. I think Abbot, is this about like the paint and the stuff you're really going to get? No sense allowed here. You. Well, I suppose we can do business. I've got a few minutes to browse. Odds and ends. But I should go see it. Well, there is a doctor, I think. We'll go to check this guy out first. Yeah, he's like painting a wall. I think this is what it is. And then you've got to go to like a paint factory location and make up the paint. Don't touch the paint. Forget you, pal. Mind your manners. This isn't just some shack I'm painting. This is the wall. The great green guardian ain't to be touched. Thinking you need a little education. Maybe a bit of community service. What do you say? Depends on what it is. You see this paint I'm using? Only one place left in the whole Commonwealth you can get it. Hardware Town. Rune store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint, and it'll be a hundred caps in your pocket. How's that sound? Only if you throw in some more money. Fine. Pay you 125 caps. I think you can do better than that. Driving a hard bargain, huh? 150 caps. Last chance. Make this worth my while or I walk. I'll be by the short hairs here. Two hundred caps. That's all I have. What can you tell me about Hardware Town? Raiders moved in a ways back. Security says they can't handle them. That's why I'm running low. So, you still up for it? If security can't handle them, why aren't raiders just coming in and wiping you guys out? Paint retrieval. I'm on it. Much obliged. And you think raiders would love to fucking r destroy this place? Alright, where are we going? I think there is that one place, I don't remember where, but there's that, I think it's near the police station, isn't it? Where there's like a woman calling out for help. Don't know if we've done that yet. That might be alright to do. <laughs> I think, oh wow, well, it's obvious what happens.
know what you'll find. Oh, look at that. Take duct tape. Take that right away. Someone died. That's the only thing. I would I really wish this was a bit more stable. So I think if this game is really stable and it just didn't crash like it does. And sure I'm modding it and that's probably a bigger risk than anything else. But and a cause to it all. Oh no, it is the woman calling out for a house at the place we need to be? <laughs> that's kinda of funny. Um but if, if this game is working flawlessly and I had n n a zero crash, this would be probably... Personally, like, even though visually it's not great, it would be at least a 9 out of 10 for me. But... It's just so messy and complicated, it's a bit... You know... Yeah, we're gonna get screwed over here. What we'll dance though? He's gonna just fuck them all up. Go then. She's right back here. Hurry. Fucked up. I think this place is really good for loot. I think, like. Yeah, if anything, this place is kind of weird because obviously it's that whole trick they did isn't the first time they fucking did something like this. So why on earth would that woman bring them in to, through the wrong way? I, I don't get that. I don't know why we've gone down here for. So start from the bottom, go to the top, sort of thing. Oh, yeah, this works.
Um, but yeah, I, I don't think I've got much more of um, Saints Row left. I think I could probably get the game done maybe in one episode, maybe two. I think two episodes would be better because then it's like this rotation is the last one for Saints Row 2. And then the one after is GTA 5. Um, but I did load into GTA 5 to update it and stuff because I knew I know that it's going to be a bit of a pain enough to, to do. But I don't know how I'm meant to start a new game because usually I like to start a new game by loading in freshly and like show the intro and loading in to the game itself. Um, but because you played, I've played that so the game so much. It's like it's go straight into the single previous save or multiplayer so do I either go in like let it load into the game and then uh, I don't know. I don't remember to load into the game start the new game plus and then start the stream or somehow start the game so that I don't know, because I don't want to delete my old saves, because they've been there for years. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I think there's some hidden stuff up in the shelving, if I remember. Um... But yeah, if anything, we are going to be doing GTA 5. I think it's going to be alright playthrough. I think I want to play it. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think I want to play it for at least the respect of GTA 6, you know. Even though I don't know if I'm going to be playing that day one. Or if I'm Good too work. fussed about it being don't played day one. Because... Knowing me, when that game actually comes out, it'll probably be a while after before I like put it on the channel. Unless I'm so far ahead, I could backtrack and do some live streams at that time and like play through it and put it alongside all my other playthroughs, whatever I do at that time. Maybe that would work. Um, but if anything, I still need to get a new console and stuff, so... And God knows, like, you never know, by 2025 we might have a new variant of the Xbox and PlayStation, so... There might be another reason to get a whole different console. Um, so I think they are on about, like, a pro version of the Series X and PlayStation. Um, there we go. Gun. I thought you could make the wrong colour and it would mess up the whole well not mess up but be an alternate way to do the mission and it kind of ruins it for the guy hmm I find that a bit weird I, th I thought there was a unless there's other paints that I just missed which could be the case. Yeah, if there's more people. Oh, yes. Yes. I'll pick it for this. High tech light. Oh, that's pretty good. Technical 
document, I take that. I've done a tweet on Got to Who a few months back now. And out of nowhere it's just blown up. After the last special of Doctor Who. It's just blown up. Because it was just me kind of saying how I'm kind of done with Doctor Who. And the fact that... Personally I feel like there's so much gaslighting now for Doctor Who and it's just horrible. Um, I'll put it up like... I know a lot of people watching this, or if anyone watches to this point, probably don't care, but, um, I put, like, um, there was, like, a short I saw, and it just highlighted how good Doctor used to be, and how it was for everybody, and there was no virtue signaling, or putting someone in their place, or shutting someone down because they believe a different view, or putting someone else's view as a higher right, like, a more righteous viewpoint in society of it being the way that the world's going instead of the way you think the world should be. It's very diversive and gaslighting, like I said, like it's a lot of shows now are designed for you to react to it and feel like you are either with it or against it. And if you're against it, you're gonna have a fucking fight on your own sort of thing. I think that's wrong and all I said was like this is what 60 years this is what a 60 year celebra Doctor Who celebration should be not current day Doctor Who and the new specials that have been made to divide gaslight and change everything that brought friends and family good fun and weird stories that hang on family what the <laughs> um I'm going to redo it. This is what a 60 year Doctor Who celebration should be. Not current day Doctor Who and the specials that have made to be made to divide, gaslight and change everything that brought friends and family together. Good, fun and weird stories is what we should be talking about. And that's what it is. Like, I think that's what Doctor Who was always for back in the day. Back When they brought it back in 2005 and beyond that was a show that you could just put on with the family and you saw these this weird man in a police park run along with a rather intelligent woman who represents human race so usually is a strong woman and she's funny or witty or um, brave or sometimes a bit scared or concerned about the way the doctor is handling stuff that's the point I think a lot of these modern fans and they take it the wrong way where like the doctor's just pick, picking a hottie companion to travel with but if anything this hot companion or this female companion that he usually goes with is the eyes of the fans and the human race so the idea that it's just not for anybody is wrong and to make the doctor more human is kind of the wrong way to go about things like the doctor should be learning from the companions and kind of being told like this is how we do things and but him have his own mindset and if he prefers to be whatever then that's the case I suppose but I think a lot of shows now, a lot of franchises, and it's got slowly going into gaming, but it's not as bad because I think gamers would put people in their place and say fuck off if they were messing around with a franchise too much. Like, look at, um, uh, look at like how messy it got with just, um, not just cause, um, Uh, Last of Us 2, how sad and messy that got, even though it should have been 
another hit. Like, it was should have been an easy hit for them to just keep going with that game. But they decided to virtue signal and fucking just well, go along with a different thing that no fan kind of asked for. And it was just... Yeah, it was just dividing the fan base when it didn't need to. Because uh, they had a template of what the story could have been and what people kind of were hoping it was going to go down. But they just divided fans again. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's just because you get a few more clicks on like adverts or um, social media attention when it is a bit more divisive. And maybe that's the case. But if you, if it's going to be a long-lasting franchise, it's not going to last because people will get fed up of it. Like for me personally, <coughs> like the new Doctor uh, Shooty, I actually when he showed up in the 60th anniversary for a special three for Doctor, Who, he actually was all right because I, I knew he was going to do a good job because he's actually a good actor, and I think if anything, he's more of a Doctor Who fan than say. Jody was um, like Jody had no clue what Doctor Who was about, <coughs> um, and maybe he's just had a rundown of what Doctor Who is, and maybe he's done the research like you should do with an actor. Um, and I hope he does, and he looks like he has with the way he's behaved with David Tennant and had that opportunity to work with David Tennant. I think he's done a decent job of. Making like showing that he wants to make this his own little stint on the show, and I, f I think that's fair, fair enough. Whether he wants to be a more gay doctor sort of thing, I, I think fair enough now. Like screw it. But I think the problem will be is if every episode he's like I'm gay, and it's ru it's virtue signaling and ramming down your throat. Because I think if he's more subtle, like say someone like Jack Captain Jack was, and he's just this cool guy that doesn't care what he likes anymore I think that would be more better for everybody to watch but if in every episode he's like making out with a guy or <clears throat> I don't know I, I don't know I think I think there's a moment for something like that if they really wanted to do it but I think if he's going to be all flamboyant and I don't know anti what came before like it has been I think that will be what ruins it for Shooty as a Doctor because instead of us set focusing on what he's actually capable of in an episode or what he's able to do as a Doctor, it's going to be like uh, Jodie Whittaker where <coughs> we're focusing on, um, well, we're focusing on what she hasn't been able to do because of the shit writing and what they're trying to push all the time because um, I think Jodie could have been a doctor but I think the writing let her down um, and I don't think she really knew what Doctor was about or why she had the job because um, I think a female doctor could work because a female master worked like Missy was a brilliant part of the 12th era's doctor <coughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I I just think the whole and that's why I I did a tweet after the th the third special um, where I was like, "Fair play to shoot." He actually showed up and kind of impressed me a little bit. Sure, there was moments throughout the episodes in all three where it was just eye rolling. And it's this virtue signal in that ruined each episode. If they kind of toned down the lines that they did say, it would have been more... I think people would have been all over this free specials and then going into Shooty's season. I think people would have been... Everyone would have adored it. But it feels like it's been designed to push people aside and divide people even more than... And it's just like weird, it's horrible because it should be like trying to fix Doctor Who, you know, and bring people back and and keep the fans that want to all that woke stuff. If they want a bit of it, then fine. But I don't know, we all complain when 
The Twelfth Doctor had a lot of woke stuff, but if only we knew how worse it was gonna get. Like, it's got so Come fucking back. bad. If I led paint, wasn't easy, but I found some. Yeah. Now that's damn fine news. Why don't you go ahead and paint the first stroke? Let's see how the shade matches up. Um. Working hard? Mm, that's a good shade of green. The wall sure seems happy with it. Happy to help. It's been an honor. It's nice to work with someone who knows how to show respect. There's your payment, and a little bonus for getting the right shade of green. Don't do anything with it I wouldn't do. Feels good to be rewarded for your actions, doesn't it? Hey, what do you want? Dance? Inquiring about anything in particular? Your thoughts? It's a pleasure to be a part of a team you can depend on. How do you feel about us? You've earned my respect, soldier. I hope that means something to you. That's all for now. Not a problem. <clears throat> um. And that's what I mean, like, I think if anything, when things are changing like they are, at least we've got all the old stuff. And that's why physical media is so important in gaming, in film, in shows. Like, if you find something that you love back in the day and now, get it physical. Because if anything, if it's on, if it's on, um... Netflix or whatever streaming service or they can change it and they can manipulate it. Sure games I suppose they can manipulate that live and change stuff if they really wanted to be fucked up. But so what? <coughs> the now? But if anything games are made in a way that or physical stuff is made in a way that you can load in and just play and 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 it's a f a moment in frozen time almost like so we've been playing Saints Row 2 that is a pinnacle of its time and and as soon as I've been playing that I've been put back in that time period when I started to play it I didn't play it day one and stuff but I played it when I I think I played Saints Row 2 and 1 after Saints Row the 3rd Saints Row the 3rd was more or less my first Saints Row um, and I think going Playing through these games have put me back in that moment of when I first played them. Remembering what me and my friends used to talk about at school. And it's the same with things like GTA 5 or uh, Forza for me. Like, that's what we used to play at school, after school. And <clears throat> I think it's good, you know. Like, and it's like the Fallout. I re like this playthrough is kind of reminding me of my first playthrough. Come on, Darcy. Let's How much go. time I put into Take it? it easy. I don't <laughs> think she wants to leave just yet. Hey, this is between me and, and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for once? Oh, God, Paul, why do you always have to make a scene? Pour me another drink, Henry. Damn it, Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home later. I can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You keep away from my wife, goddammit! You'd better get out of here before you do something stupid. You son of a bitch! Don't hurt him, Henry! Uh, God damn it! Go on. Get out of here. I'll be at home, Darcy, taking care of our son. Sorry I had to see that. Things are usually a lot quieter around here. Perfect place to drink, if you're buying. What was that argument about? Uh, nothing much. You see, Darcy here likes to relax and enjoy life from time to time. What are you walking away for? Paul doesn't. He's not a bad guy, really. 
Just a little uptight. Too bad he can't learn to relax, huh, Darcy? Shut up. I don't come here to talk about Paul. You there! I haven't seen you in here before. Why don't you make yourself useful and buy me a drink or something? You come here often? As often as I can. Henry is so good at listening to my troubles. Troubles? What would you know about that? Anyway, I got a bar to run. Ordering? So is this your place? That's right. Owner, bartender, sympathetic ear. I try to provide a little oasis from the hardships of life. Name's Cook, by the way. Henry Cook. Let me know if I can get you anything. Not looking to buy right now. Some other time. Excuse me. You're in the only spot worth going to around here. I thought he had a room to sell. Like a hotel sort of thing. Managed to get a hundred lights on that post. It's just blown up out of nowhere. Like, I put that up with the episode too. I may have been programmed to serve, but in your case, I shall do so disdainfully. Let me know when you're ready to order. I've got this Deathclaw egg I think you might be interested in. Deathclaw egg, is that? Hmm. Intriguing. I, of course, will need to examine it before I can. My word! What have you done to it? It's like it's been through a sewer. I can't serve that. I'll give you this much. Just get that thing out of my sight. Here. Hmm. I'll be breaking out the cheap moonshine so that Sir may drink. There a problem? No problem at all. My programming dictates that I serve all customers in the Colonial Tap House. Even those that obviously don't belong. Just know that my senses indicate that you have dangerously low levels of class for this establishment. Not today. Goodbye. Don't come back. <laughs> um... Where's that guy? Heard you're responsible for that new coat of green on the wall. Looks nice. Excuse me. Hey, you there. I, um, I have a question for you. What do you want? You were in the tap house before, when... You got beaten up by the bartender. Yeah. Good old Henry Cook. Everybody's best pal. Especially Darcy's. I'm supposed to pretend I don't know he's sleeping with her until he decides he's bored with her and she comes crawling back home to me. Everybody's got their problems, pal. No, I need your help. I'll... I'll pay you. I've got some money, and I can get some more. I'm going to go back and talk to him, and I want you to come with me. You saw? You won't take me seriously otherwise. I don't want to have to really hurt him, I just want him to leave Darcy alone. You're going to have to make it worth my while. This isn't any of our business, and now you're gouging him for caps. I don't even know what to think right now. Ah, uh, well, okay. I can only pay you 80 caps right now, but I'll scrape together more after we take care of Cook. This'll work better if I talk to Cook by myself. You're probably right. I'm so angry at Cook, I might lose control. Just get him to leave Darcy alone. Don't worry. I'll make him suffer. Good. 
I hope you don't have to kill him, but you can make it as painful as you want. He deserves whatever he gets. Uh, Diamond City Radio. I'm kind of the worst guy along because these fucking dancers hating everything. <laughs> That's the only downside to followers, because, like, they don't really trust you too much when it comes to yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I just have to close up. We need to talk, Cook. Oh, yeah? Is there some kind of problem? You're going to leave Darcy alone. Starting now. Now wait just a goddamn minute. Who do you think you are, walking into my bar and telling me what I'm gonna do? We can do this the hard way if you want. I've left tougher than you bleeding in the dirt. You'd better turn yourself around before you find out what the hard way really means. I'm counting to three. One. <laughs> counting. Two. Last chance. Hold up. Don't get crazy on me. We can talk this out. This whole thing with Darcy and me. Bad idea. I admit it. Not like I planned it or anything. She was just always hanging around here. You know how it is. Look, tell Paul it's over. I swear. I won't even let her in my bar anymore. Is that good enough for you? promise to be good that's your offer you're right it wouldn't be enough if I was in his shoes I have an idea something I've been thinking about for a while already kill two birds with one stone you know what's the idea here's the deal I have some other um, businesses on the side one of them is helping Nelson Latimer spend his dad's money to make himself feel like a gangster Who's Nelson Latimer? Malcolm's kid. An arrogant little pissant. But useful, since he has all the money in the world and likes to think of himself as a budding crime boss. Me and Nelson are supposed to be meeting some gentlemen from Good Neighbor to exchange Nelson's cash for their chems. My plan is simple. We take the money and the chems. Hold on. I have some questions first. Yeah? What is it? Why do you want to screw these guys over all of a sudden? Oh, it isn't all of a sudden. Nelson's been complaining about my cut for a while now. He may be thinking about trying to strike out on his own. I've been waiting for the right opportunity to present itself. And here it is. Anything else? What about afterwards? Won't everyone be after us? Come on. You know the answer. No witnesses. Anything else? Why smuggle chems into Diamond City? Chems aren't illegal here. Sure, but Mayor McDonough takes a big cut of all the chems brought into town. Not everybody thinks that's good business. That's where me and Nelson come in. He fronts the cash, I make the arrangements. Cheap chems for Diamond City. Everybody wins. Anything else? That's it. Okay, so you're in then? I'm in. Let's do this. Now you're talking. I promise, you won't regret it. In a few hours, we're both going to be sitting pretty. Quite a good quest line, really, this one. I love the fact when I uh, threatened them, he was counting down. That's such a Negan thing. <laughs> Quite good. Up with my girl. She the cap off the What just happened? 
God damn it. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that would work. If anything, I could kill Cook out there. You look a little rough up. Talk to Doc Parker over to make a surgery. Alright, where are we going for the meal? Let's go do that. As if I've got to wait for him to pop out his door. Do all right if I had a bed or something, but. Or a way to wait, but quite impressed with the game. The the game might crash now that I spoke about it. But it's actually been pretty solid today. Also, I found out there isn't a limit on the level up in this game. I won't I weren't sure if there was, but um, I don't think there's too much of a limit on it. I think if you get to like level 300, that's when the game starts to break a little bit. Um, Where the hell is Cook? We can't sit here much longer. Relax. I'm sure he'll be here any minute. <clears throat> well, he better you better get the fuck out of here if you bullshit. know what's good for you. Cook sent me. He has a message for you. Cook told you about this? Where the hell is Cook anyway? What is this, Nelson? Cook couldn't make it, so he sent me instead. The fuck he did? Trish, kill this asshole! Look well, now, Dan. I would say we could do this in the next episode. Might as well keep going, I feel like.
Wojciechowskie. It's like a truck. Something to do with upstairs. I hate the um, helis because they, they proper make it. I hate the helicopters because I, I think they're one of the reasons why the game crash is so common. Because they're like, they're kind of drawing out the fire at, like the fight. I don't even know what I'm trying to do. I don't get that at all. Security's too good. I'm snuck. Let's 
What's that? Strategies. Situation. Self war. Dance, you kind of overkilled it. Also, one thing I did see, I don't really pay attention to the rags, but uh, with the chems, but I think. Mentax. I think this is meant to increase. Um, that stuff's poison. The sooner you realize it, the better. I think it's meant to increase your XP gain. Not sure. I think I read like I saw a short on it about it. No. There's a lot of drugs in here though. Thing. I don't know, really know what happens if I don't take drug. Like, like I'm not really gone full out with the drugs to like really utilize them. A terminal somewhere. Is that way out? I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe not. Look, dance. Oh, god damn it. I fucked up. <laughs> I need to remove that from him. That gun is a bit powerful. But it might be Andy in the low and see. I wish I, like, if I reloaded this, so he'd actually reload it properly. No. Bloody 
how dance grow. good in um, upgrading or using the uh, Institute armor. I think that might look good on Negan. A little bit more than the uh, current armor he's got. Two fusion cores out of this place. Pretty decent. Sweet. Still alive. I'm pretty sure. I tried to jump, but then he got stuck. Nice. I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. Just ended up here. Races spray <coughs> did nothing. Um, there we go. Beautiful. Fusion girl. Like done, and what am I meant to be doing? Hmm. Guess that'll do.
I feel like I should have waited for that guy maybe to show up. I don't know. I, I've kind of lost interest, isn't that crest at the end there? But. Yeah. Do I go and talk to that guy? I don't know what, what why it's not showing up anymore. Doc Crocker over at the Mega Surgery Center. He's gotta be about. I don't know what happened. I might have fucked up that quest to be fair. Check the bar out maybe. They say the old Boston Commons got some. As if they're ever going to mention anything about it. He's not here. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I feel like I fucked up that quest, which I probably have, and I'm not paying attention like I usually do. Hi. God, even the sky is insane. Did you see that glimp uh, thing? Part of the I hear you've been asking Excuse questions me. around town. You read the paper? What? Diamond, Diamond City's got two private dicks now? <clears throat> Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing I ain't heard of. Shop in safety. No sick. Maybe. Just try and go to that. Maybe he's there by now. I don't know. We'll see. If not, it doesn't matter. We made a bit of XP. I think that's the best I got. The only thing is, like, the reward I got from the deal I made with that guy. He did pay up front, so I got some of it, but... Oh, it's all opened up. Uh. You never know what you find. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take that. That was a lot of stuff. It's pretty good. But, I feel like... I 
I take it. Um, I don't know if there's a power armor on the island. Maybe we'll go do that next time. Um, but I'm going to save it here for today. Um, and then we'll call it. And more or less continue on in the next one. And then like I said. Maybe in the next few episodes we'll start building up a little bit. Saving up. And maybe. Just maybe. Maybe we'll go at some point. Next episode. Maybe we'll go do that and get the AK400 again. Just run and get it. And see if we have that helmet. I can't remember where we got that. T something helmet from. I might have bought it. But I wouldn't mind getting like a helmet for dance. Like a proper. Brotherhood of Steel helmet. Maybe. If I can put it on him. But. Um, and then. Hopefully around about episode 50. We'll try and do the. Try and head to the glow and see I think. Um. But yeah, overall, loving the series as always. We keep it going. Um, so not tomorrow, but the day after should be some more Saints Row. It may be the last episode. I'm not sure. Depends on how if I like just smash through it and get it done. But if not, if this rotation might be the last, the last two Saints Row, maybe. It depends on how I play for it. But if anything, I've got I'm in a position where I can just smash through the game. I think. And not worry too much about doing side activities. I've not really got a draw to do it. I might do one or two, but honestly, I think I want to get it done and cop on to GTA 5. I think that'd be quite fun. But if anything, playing that series, it might be a different way for me to load in. And in a way, I still haven't streamed it. I don't know how it's going to play. Like, if it turns out to be like GTA 4, where there's no gameplay audio, um, it might be something I might have to leave. In general, because I'm not going to do that. Uh, but it's something that we'll just have to see when it comes to it. But um, overall, yeah, I think we'll leave it there for today, and we'll be back with some more um, uh, Fallout 4 relatively soon. Saints Row wrapping up, and then GTA 5 will be in the next week or so, I think. Overall, um, and then I'll premiere it and all that stuff and. If anything, GTA 5 will be on the channel for a while. Probably till we complete it. Or if I decide where we're at a point where I could have a break and play something else, I might do that. But I think, if anything, I want to try and get GTA 5 done by the end of the year, which I think is possible. And I don't think I'm going to go like 100%. I might try and do certain things. I might try and do the collectibles and stuff. Because um, we could easily spend an episode like... I might get all the locations up of like the spaceship parts and stuff, I could do something like that for an episode or two, um, even the submarine stuff might be kind of an interesting one, it might be a bit meh, but like say I want an episode where we're just chatting about stuff and I'm in the mood to just chat and ramble, that might be something I could do with that, but I think if anything the submarine thing is something that does take a while to get done. So, we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be fun. Like, just building up and just chilling out, playing some GTA 5. I think it'll be quite a nice series. And I'm going to take my... In a way, I'm going to take my time, but... Kind of move through it and get a playthrough done of it. Um, and then, after that, would probably be Saints Row uh, 3. Or, if I really, at that point, at the end of GTA 5, I think... Actually, I want to go and play State of Decay. I'll do that. But at the moment, I'm more inclined to play GTA 5, Saints Row, Fallout in a minute. And if anything, Fallout could be the game that I'm like, okay, we'll put this on the break for a bit. Because this has been on the channel for a while. So we could do that. Um, but I don't know. It's just brainstorming at the minute. I know I'm a lot of the time I'm planning stuff out. And then by the time this is up on YouTube, I'll probably change things completely up. It's like when... Um, all the Assassin's Creed that's been on the channel for the past couple months. Realistically, originally that all this stuff would have been random for Let's Plays, me alternating between something. But it's just turned out to be um, just Assassin's Creed at the minute. I, like Originally I wanted to do Dead Space DLC. But I've kind of just got so distracted with all these other games and stuff. Like It's not awful. Like realistically that DLC is only going to be an hour or two long so it's something that I could easily get back to or, or I've already done um, but I think I need to be in the mood to do that and want to do it but if anything we played the trilogy 
and overall I had a fun time with that play game franchise so it's not a big deal um, I think if I was really dying for an ending or a, rel a proper rev resolution I would do it but honestly I just kind of with Dead Space 3 I'm cause it was kind of like just yeah it's done I, I enjoyed it I had fun with that franchise and I can move on a bit but if anything if I want to play a bit more I will do I if anything something like the Dead Space 3 DLC would be good for if I have an option to play Dead Space the remake so we do the DLC and then we go into the remake would be kind of an interesting one because realistically the Dead Space 3 DLC was kind of the latest thing before the remake in a way um, but yeah overall we'll continue right where we left off next time and we'll just see how this goes but for today as always thanks for watching if you've been watching and I'll see you all in the next one